Hello and welcome to this video tutorial showing you how to improve your audio quality on Zoom. So Zoom is a tool that you can use to communicate with others, whether it be for meetings, interviews, collaboration, it doesn't really matter. But if your audio sounds like crap, it's going to be really difficult for you to succeed. So let's go ahead and talk about what we can do to improve our audio. So first things first, go ahead and open up the Zoom app here. And then once you've opened up Zoom, go ahead and navigate in the upper right hand corner to where you see your little icon there. Click on that uh, to where you see your status and go to settings. This is going to take us to the general settings within Zoom. The ones that we want to go to are here within audio. Now, before we dive into any of these settings that we can change or tweak here within Zoom, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about. The first thing is your microphone. Making sure you have the right microphone, knowing how to set up your microphone is important. Normally, any USB microphone would be fine. If you'd like to go even a step further, you could get an XLR microphone and plug it into an audio interface. All of these things can easily be Googled. Just make sure you have at least a decent enough microphone. You don't want to be having a meeting with someone, talking to them through your AirPods or through your webcam microphone. It will just sound terrible. So make sure you have a good, decent enough microphone and it's set up nicely. Also, Optimize your internet connection. A poor internet connection will make you sound very robotic, uh, a lot of fuzz in the audio, so having and optimizing a good internet connection is critical as well. So here we are in the audio settings within Zoom, now that we've talked about those couple of things there, and we're gonna go from top to bottom. So obviously right here where you see speaker, this is going to be where the audio comes out. So where you listen or hear the other people on the Zoom call, make sure you have the correct speaker chosen here. Uh, and you don't want it to come out of like your normal monitoring speakers. You want to have either headphones or a way to monitor it to where it's not echoing through your microphone. So I like to have a set of headphones where I can plug those into my PC or Mac or whatever I'm utilizing the call on and then go from there. Now, as far as volume, this is up to you, uh, as far as you know how loud you want people to be, and obviously their setups are going to dictate uh, whether you need to increase or decrease this here. Next is going to be our microphone. A lot of the problem may come from you not having the correct microphone selected. So for me, you can see my microphone is plugged into an audio interface, which is called the Scarlett Solo USB here within Zoom. Uh, that's the name of my audio interface, so I know that I have my microphone selected. Now, in order to test the input level of a microphone within Zoom, you can see as I'm speaking, the, uh, the microphone is picking up the audio and it's going to be going left to right here showing you kind of what the sound or volume level is for your microphone. If you wanted to, you could increase or decrease this by dragging left or right. Now, normally Zoom has this checkbox checked right here, automatically adjust microphone volume. I highly encourage you to deselect that because what's going to happen is Zoom may think that your volume needs to go up or down at an inopportune time, and from what I found, it does a fairly poor job at doing so. So get a nice, consistent level, keep your mi microphone in the same place in front of you, wherever it may be, and find what you know volume level is appropriate for the microphone that you have. In order to test the microphone, you click on test mic right here, it'll show you that it's recording, it'll show you that it's registering right here, and then you just Click the recording again, and it's going to play that back for you through your headphones or whatever you have your speaker set up here on the top. Next, we're going to see audio profile. Now, normally the Zoom optimized audio is selected. Now, I want you to unselect that. I want you to go to original sound right here. Normally it says original sound for musicians, uh, recommended for if you have a decent studio or audio environment. Now, you may be thinking, well, I don't have a studio. That's fine. It's going to be much better than what Zoom thinks is optimized audio. So select original sound for musicians here, and then you want to sec select the high fidelity music mode. Don't worry, that just will make it better. And then the bottom one where it says stereo audio, so you're not coming in or out of just one side of their headphones. Don't do the echo cancellation because I found that it thinks certain things might be echo or not, and it makes the audio sound a much poorer of a quality just because this is checked here. So go ahead and remove the zoom optimize audio option and go to the original sound for musicians. Next, we're going to go down to where you see 
uh, at the bottom here. Couple of uh, quick things here. Automatically join audio by computer when joining. This, it just eliminates a click when you're joining a call. So I would have that checked. Uh, I don't like to mute my microphone because I'm, I'm oftentimes hosting these calls. And so I like to have it unmuted so I can speak to the people as they come into the room. I can always mute it once I get into a specific call. Uh, and then the other ones here are just kind of key binds to mute yourself as well. Let's go ahead and dive into the advanced audio settings. So if we go into advanced here, we're going to see a couple of things. Signal processing by Windows audio device drivers. This will normally be set to either auto or on uh, right here by default. Turn that off. Just turn that off, okay? What this basically does here, you can see uh, it allows basically Zoom to set the Windows signal processing mode. It basically uh, it allows Windows way too much permission. I don't like, it makes it sound worse. Just trust me, you wanna turn this off. And then next is echo cancellation here. Normally they have this set to aggressive. I would select auto. I honestly wish they would have an option here for me to turn this completely off because oftentimes when you're recording or, you know, when you're recording audio or you're speaking into a microphone, anytime a bit of software is trying to do what they think sounds best, Normally, that's not the case. Now, sometimes there's outliers and that is the case, but I would just change this to auto, but I wish there was an option to turn this off. Now, remember, you can change all of these settings and get a decent microphone and still sound terrible. And the reason be because of your recording space. So try to find a recording space in your house, if you can, that has carpet. Because if you're recording on like tile or hardwood, the audio is going to bounce all over the place. It's going to sound very echoey. Uh, obviously, in my studio here where I'm recording this video tutorial, I have sound panels up. Maybe that's something that you want to do. Anything that you can do to improve your recording environment will always improve your audio quality, whether it be Zoom or elsewhere. And then lastly, when you are recording these calls, uh, if you're doing a podcast or whatever it may be, I recommend if you can't get exactly what you want here, that you record locally and you just edit afterwards. So what that means is that when you record your audio, you're recording it to like an SD card or your guest is recording it somewhere locally on their end and you're not you know, counting on Zoom to basically give you the best recording of your audio. Uh, and if we go down to the recording settings here, we can see a couple of different things here. Uh, nothing here is going to improve your audio. This is just talking about where the recording's going to go after you've hit record. So that's it, that's the best things that you can do as a person utilizing Zoom to improve your audio quality. If you have a tip that you found or discovered to improve audio, please put that in the comment section below. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.